this is me after what feels like 24 hours of travel. I have been in three different time zones in the past week and a half, but I'm, I'm landing here in Paris, France for the next few weeks and I'm so happy. I literally just got into the place that I will be staying in and I'm feeling all the feels. I am delirious. I'm so grateful. I'm so content and excited and muy emocionada y yo quiero ir a caminar y ver the sunset. <laughs> this trip has been calling me for so long so I'm doing it and some of my friends also happen to be here and I am just blessing this trip and just having the intention to learn more about myself and discover little miracles every single day and just write and sing and explore other outlets of my creativity that I've always wanted to, like making music and um, just writing a book and coming up with new recipes. I have a goal to finish my little cookbook by um, the coming my coming birthday in November, so I am just really curating and creating some of my favorite recipes and there are just a lot of other passions that I've had that I haven't fully given myself the time and permission to pursue so I'm excited to spend a lot of time alone here. Let's go to the store. This is me grounding tonight and um, what I do when I'm landing in a new country alone with no plan. So thanks for being on this ride with me. <laughs> here but more than anything I just love cooking for myself it's really late and I'm in a new place and I was walking around alone but I felt really safe because there's so many people out and I just wear baggy clothes um, it's the same rules of safety everywhere don't make direct eye contact don't talk to strangers look like you know where you're going so I just did all of that and it was honestly like four minutes away from the store but I was getting a little nervous because this is a new neighborhood but there were so many people out and I didn't get bothered, so just throwing that out there, but always use your discernment, and generally, I don't really like to walk al alone at night, so yeah. I mean, unless I really know a neighborhood. I'm pretty risky. I feel really safe. I just feel protected, uh, but I have put myself in risky situations. I Starting my day with some cacaocito and I will be unpacking, stretching, and going for a walk. Uh, I left my outlet converters at the airport, so my mission this morning is to pick up some new ones and my camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna get settled in and honestly get settled into my body. I'm so excited to stretch and breathe. <laughs> procrastinating finishing my taxes which I need to do in the next two days so well basically one day so I'm just gonna be posted up here 
And like I mentioned, I honestly am really excited. I'm such a homebody and I have been traveling a lot and surrounded by people and so this is just my opportunity to fully recoup and do my normal routine, which is usually spending like five days at a time at home with little breaks and things in between. But yeah, I'm posted. This is me for the rest of the day. Literally so content and so grateful. filming and I am going to get a baguette and go for a walk before a little evening of editing and just cleaning up before my friend gets here. This is the little bit of respite that I needed and the next month is going to include so much exploration so I'm feeling really recharged. I needed that. I look so extra right now. <laughs> just running some errands really quick. <laughs> In the US, I am gluten free, but in the EU, I am so not. It's different. The bread here doesn't fuck me up. I love it. <laughs> There's something with onions. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. He's luring us in with food. It's the guy that's just like honey. <laughs> He's like cooking out the window. <laughs> with like a fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They should make a Hansel and Gretel with two fairies. Like, like Gretel and Gretel. And just, and just, just completely oblivious. <laughs> like, okay. walking around this beautiful little park. I'm gonna put the names of everywhere that I go here. I'm not much of a travel vlogger because I will likely be going to some touristy spots and I'm all about the inward journey. I have felt so inspired today. I have been writing a bunch and my friend uh, Lily is here but she just went home because she was super sleepy so I've just been gallivanting around alone. I think I'm gonna go to a museum right now and I'm just having a good old time with myself. Having a lot of realizations and realizing things and I just am so happy to be surrounded by green. It's been a minute because I came here from New York. Although I did spend time basking in the park in New York. This is just so lovely. I wish I could lay on all of the grass here, but that is not the case. I am on a mission to find parks that I can lay in. I think there are some close to my house. I love these little headsets because they explain everything in English, so I'm just getting a tailored podcast episode basically for each of these paintings, or at least the ones that have numbers on them. And I feel like it's such an interactive, beautiful tour, and I'm fully immersing myself in every single painting. That's really what I wanted to see here, so <sighs> I'm so inspired. Oh, no. <laughs> Seeing it for the first time. <laughs> it's like my, my face when we 
awakening. No, no. we're gonna go hide. You don't have to do that. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I have bad face days though. I'm just like, I swear that's how I look. No, like. Literally, yeah. Something is just so off. Yeah. Okay. So I found a bunch of parks we can actually sit down in, oh. and they look stunning. A park where we can actually touch the grass? Yes, <laughs> put our little toes in the dirt. <laughs> the inner child. Yeah. Inner. <laughs> Does anyone know how it's possible that it's 9pm and it's so bright out? has a little bit of magic in every moment, color, and sound. My dream feels alive here, or more so it's that I'm walking in a dream that I dreamed, so and so everything is amplified with glimmers of confirmation. I'm so, so grateful to be here at this time in my life. I'm so grateful for the awareness, the ease, the calm, the way there's so much space to greet myself. I feel like I'm simply on a journey with my soul, but isn't that always the case? So far, walking by the Seine in the sunlight, looking at the painted nudes at Musée d'Orsay and laying in the park near the flat have been some of my favorite experiences. We're on our way to dinner! Our first time really eating out, so hopefully it's yummy. We have high expectations. A recommendation, so there's hope. I floated around for so long, but I think I'm done with that era for good now. Never to be untethered in the way I once was, only aware of the undeniable home I feel with people, home with roots and space and sunlight, home that comes with me everywhere. <laughs> 